Okay, an airfoil is anything that's designed to manipulate the flow of air to produce lift. The ideal shape depends on how fast and at what altitude it's going to be flown at, but they all are shaped to manipulate the flow of air to produce a force. Okay, airplanes move in three dimensions. We can control pitch, roll, and yaw. So they move around three axes. The lateral axis, which extends from wingtip to wingtip. The vertical axis, which extends up through the middle. And then the longitudinal axis, which extends from the nose through to the tail. Okay, now let's just talk about some basic airfoil terms. We have the upper surface, the lower surface, the leading edge, the trailing edge. The cord line is just an imaginary line that gets drawn from the trailing edge through the leading edge. The relative wind is just the airflow as it passes over the airfoil. Whatever direction the airflow is coming from and passing over the airfoil, that's the relative wind. Now, the angle formed between the relative wind and the cord line is the angle of attack, and we can change the angle of attack by pitching up and down. The angle of incidence is essentially the angle at which the airfoil is attached to the fuselage. This we cannot change. This is, this is a, a fixed design feature of the airplane. It's just the angle between the cord line and the line parallel to the longitudinal axis. The camber is basically the shape or the curvature of the airfoil. This is arguably the most important design feature, as we'll see in just a second. But first, let's talk about what happens when the air flows past the airfoil.